Arm assembly complete. Hey, what's up guys? Marcy here, coming back to do another first person video, and today I'm going to be doing some games on the newly released R14 patch of 1.2+. So, yeah, uh, I'll try quickly go over the changes right now, but uh, um, I think I noted them down on my, one of my previous videos. I made a comment of the changes, but we haven't added a few things since that beta. Uh, one of the more notable changes is, is that Seekers have 10% more gun armor in general. It's a universal Seeker buff. I'm not sure if I particularly agree on that, but considering that uh, Scrin's economy got nerfed somewhat with the, um, fi the bug fix to their refineries, then I guess it does compensate for that. And besides that, uh, Black Hand and Nods, all they had to do was spam buggies with one refinery all-ins, and they could just starve Scrin out of it. Their entire Tiberium field cost-effectively with those buggies. We have since um, fixed the uh, bug, which was a uh, problem with one of the, the buggies. Shit, it's going to be a screen mirror here. Not my favorite matchup ever. Not by any means of the imagination. And we're gonna, I'm going to send all these buzzes back to base anyway, because just in case he is a uh, try 59 and rush me with this since I'll have a nice chance of stopping that um, with some buzzes at home. I can probably buy myself some time with a buzzer hive, because you'll have to micro down those uh, buzzes. So I'm going to go on this tie room right here so that he can't just put a hive straight on front on top of these. And yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing. He's, he's Reaper 17, which is good news. Uh, I'm going to be somewhat in a bad position in this game because uh, Reaper 17 do have the cheaper force fields for their um, tripods. It's $3,000 for a force field for a screen tri uh, Reaper tripods. Oh, for screen tripods, uh, yeah, because they get planetary assault carriers and devastated warships, which are uh, pretty much useless in this matchup. But... Yep, uh, he is behind right now. Um, okay then, I don't know why that is. Um, I don't think he has disintegrators. If he does, again, I have those two buses in my base. Uh, I don't think he does though, so just can sit here. And um, yeah, eco. And I could potentially take the blue Tiberium as well. Which I'll do right now. I don't think Tenny's going to be uh, too f um, in the rush to contest that. He's going to throw down a portal here, I uh, wonder what for. I really don't know what he has in mind, but he obviously has something uh, that he wants to do right now, unless he wants to stasis my tech, which is possible, so let's try and intercept this buzzer right here. Or not, unfortunately. So yeah, just harvest this and... I mean, I could go for dev tanks, make him think that I'm going for um, tech. Oh, actually no, I'm trying 59. Am I trying 59? What a great start to this uh, video. Troll 59. Okay then, well, we'll go for some Corruptors and uh, Cultists. Not a big deal how I was um, indecisive with the build. Uh, if I knew how it would travel, I would have gone for Disintegrators. Then again, I was against random, so you know it could have been, could have been anything really. And I'm just going to put my Stasis Chamber right here. And we do have corrupted um, ravages fixed, um, by the way. Tip agitation, I don't mean really fixed, it's more of a change, but you only require the, the rat ravages you require now to kill a refinery. Um, while it's not the same as before, it is actually ch changed in somewhat because. Yeah, he's gonna count my, my portals now, that's bad. Okay, so let's get those over here. I think three corruptors is probably just going to be sufficient there, and it's a really weird build this one I'm doing. I don't think it'll work, but we'll see. Put a lightning spike here just to complicate life a little more for him. And uh, yeah, that's uh, four four ravager squads. And he's going to bogger off there. That's good. Alright, well, those Corruptors are very good versus uh, Shardwalkers, which is the reason I made them. He's probably expecting me to go for uh, Cultists right now, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and destroy his refineries, which are here. I'm going to try and... Uh, or maybe I could better just uh, kill his refineries. Yeah, I'm going to kill his refineries, yeah, once again. Um, okay, apparently that didn't fix the problem. Oh, my Corruptors, what are they doing? They're going to be left behind if I don't move them. Uh, yeah, this is... I don't know why I didn't kill that refinery there. 
But I'm going to try and destroy it now, though. I'm going to quickly take this out. Not sure why he didn't repair that, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to go over here and try and kill his uh, refinery. Because my tip of rotation is going to be done any moment now. And where's his refinery? Do you not even get a refinery? No, he has one there. Okay, then. Um, is he going mechas? No, he's not. He's just got a stasis shield right now. Well, I'm just going to quickly take a shot at this refinery. And uh, get out of here, basically, at this point. Okay, just spamming out those corruptors. And it's going to take him a while to DPS down those. I don't think he made anything besides corruptors, so yeah, I'm just going to make corrupt um, uh, shard walkers. I'm just going to make corruptors to deal with it. I'm going to be out of Tiberium soon. Um, I, can't, I have to destroy his refinery though, so I'm going to try and get around here and finish it off. And uh, it's totally worth it if I can just grab that refinery kill. You can't catch these um, ravagers, so that's kind of nice. I'm just going to kill this. Alright, and... I do have two squads remaining, which means I can still kill harvesters because it only requires uh, one member to be uh, to do the full DPS of the Ravagers now. But it, they're mostly good in um, Squid and Mirrors and Trial of the Nine Mirrors, these Ravagers. Although I have made them work previously versus other factions as well. I wouldn't do them versus factions with an um, air-based anti-infantry units. But yeah, what's he got now? He's got Eco. Okay, then. Okay, and he's going to chill back at base. Um... Is there any blue type room? I don't think there is. Yeah, I've got enough harvesters. In fact, uh, plentiful harvesters at the moment. Don't need any more of those. He's probably going for storm riders at the moment, considering how I have nothing but uh, corruptors. So I need to think in his shoes and consider the likelihood of that. Okay, so all the corruptors here. Where's those uh, ravagers? They're over here. Okay, then. Over here. You'll want to get those back, those um, mechapedes. No, no, move, 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 move. Fucking pathfinding in this game is terrible. Oh, God. Trying to get around here with this freaking mechapede. All right. Okay, take this out. This refinery. Not sure if we can do splash damage. This. Oh, I don't know why the damage is not going through on that, but yeah, it's just not working out. This strategy. Maybe I can kill one of these corruptors or something. I'm not sure. Where's those uh, ravagers? I need to put them on a control group that I can remember. Something, something else. And I'm tempted to sell my. Oh god, I got more ravagers now. That's bad. God, they're bloody useless. These are at killing mechapedes. Um. Yep. Kills my Ravager squads for nothing. He does have an expansion up as well. Uh -huh. I'm going to go underway with my expansion of my own. He's going to lock me in place there as well. Because he didn't use his Stacia shield when he could have. Take out this Megapede. Need some luck here. Yep, that goes down. Okay. He's trying to get some headshots here with the rabbit, um, shard walkers, which are quite good at that, actually. 
But I think I just have simply too many mechas here for him to deal with. Oh, I can't see the mecha heads. Is that a mecha head there? Yeah, I think it is. Where's that mech feed? Kill that. And that one. Oh my god, he has that as well, the lightning spike. But despite all that fail, I think I might have this game surprisingly. Wow, this strange ship. We need to be packing that up right now. Okay. Now I've got six mecha peas here, so unless he has like a surprise storm rider, um, then I'm not sure if that's going to do anything. I'm not sure if he can come back in this game, I should say, if he doesn't have storm riders. Yeah, he's got three mecha peas right now. I vastly outnumber him in that regard. Alright. He's not too convinced by his mecha peeds uh, micro. He needs to engage me soon, though, otherwise he's in a lot of trouble here. Okay, trying to take these out, these freaking things. Alright, and they're going to go down. Take that out as well. All my uh, harvesters have gone back to base. Oh, he's trying to lure me into the lightning spike so he can kill those mecha peas easily, but it's not going to work, I'm afraid. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fall for that mistake. And that goes down. Okay, a lot of these harvesters again went back to base. So. Yeah, I'm just going to take out these harvesters here right now. Uh, maybe cure Storm Con, or maybe go for some corrupt cultists now, because he's probably just going to be firing mecha peas out, not going back for any more um, uh, shardwalkers. All right, that goes down. Okay. Take this out. This megapede here. Okay. Um, maybe. Tripods are in order right now, but yeah, he is holding on. He is holding on for the moment. I'm just gonna take out this, take this mechapede over, and consider going for a hexapod as well. Oh god, I'm really struggling to talk and play in this game, despite me being traveler. But yeah, uh, considering how I went for so many ravager squads and it didn't work out in the end for me, I had to kind of devote a bit more attention to um, playing this uh, game. So yeah. Just gonna snatch all of his harvesters now. Take that out, and yeah, he's got tons of mecha peeds. Um, that's pretty much it, though, to be honest. And get my hexbot out, regardless, and maybe consider going for a prodigy as well. All right. Just gonna try and hunt down those um, as well. Those. Uh, Cultists. But yeah, I think he did lose the two harvesters. Uh, he might be a bit confused. He doesn't actually know that I have the cultists there. But yeah, I'm just going to sell this off right now. Um, I'm going for that hexapod. I can use the type innovation scan to reveal where his mechapedes are. Okay, and get this over here right now. Yeah, he's going to try and get an engagement done here. I can tell. That's what he's going to do. That lightning spike paying off for him there. Okay. I'm going to get money for these kills here. The segments that I destroy with the mechapede. Oh, with the hexapod. Let's take this harvester here, or better yet, let's just capture it. And go for more mecha peeds. I don't think anything else is going to work besides that in this game. And where's that war factory? There it is. Yeah, let's get these back to base. And uh, try and use this hexapod efficiently to 
take out these mechapedes. I can I can always phase it as well if things get a bit dire. Okay. Where's those mechapedes again? They're over there. He hasn't chosen to um, attack my undefended expansion here. So I am fortunate. I am grateful for that. But uh, as I was saying, it's just great how I can just use the hexapod with its um, recycling system. Okay. Right, well there you go, there you go down. Um, Alright, hexapod here. Where's those cultists? I'm gonna have to teleport this hexapod back, aren't I? Yeah, I think so. Alright then. It's gonna come out of stasis uh, all that soon. Oh, why did that not... What the fuck? How did that not area mind control that? Where's the hexapod? It's getting destroyed by the synths now, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Take out those. Hexapod. Gonna... Save this. Very messy game, this. He's just spamming out disintegrators now. Um, literally, everything, the counter to everything he has is uh, Mechapedes. Just takes a lot of micro, though, with Trap 59 to beat these uh, infantry and basic anti infantry units. Okay, I can tell this video is going to be quite appalling, though. But, yeah, it is what it is. I, I need to try and win. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't have a commando or mastermind to steal my drone ship from me. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take this harvester. And go back with this. Uh, oh, shit. Take that back, and I'll just steal his harvesters. Thank you very much. All right, and yeah, it's a good uh, practice game though. For the next game, that is. Oh shit! Didn't see that. Did not see those pop out of freaking nowhere. All right, and but yeah, Tenny putting on some good resistance here. But ultimately, I don't think it's going to work in the end. All right, let's take his drone ship. And uh, Hexpod here can also get uh, teleported. Oops. Where's the Hexpod? There it is. All right. And that's going to be GG. So, that was a really messy game. Not sure what to comment on that. I mean... I thought that CGF fixed the bug or changed the Ravages so that they do the same damage with Tib Agitation no matter if they lose a member in their squad but apparently I don't see any changes. Uh, it was a long game, a lot longer than what it needed to be, uh, though I had the potential to lose that game if I didn't pull off some fancy things of cultists and the sort. Uh, of course I did teleport my hexapod but uh, yeah things were getting dire in that game. Uh, I did decent um, damage on his expansion, but Tenny held tight, and I wasn't expecting the disintegrator transition out of him. I probably should have gone uh, sooner into Mechapedes again. Uh, screen mirrors are just like that, Mechapedes, uh, and nothing else. All right, guys, uh, game number two versus Tenny, and uh, looks like it's going to be a screen extravaganza. I'm going to keep getting screen from that random, no doubt, unless I decide to, decide to uh, sp pick my faction. Anyways, uh, two spikes as always on the map, which is a uh, tournament odyssey. I could um, go for this Tyrant spike here, but since it's a random mirror, uh, Technique, I'm not sure why he's going random. He should go Nod. He's better with a Nod faction. But uh, random Nod uh, is also very, very... is also a very big possibility because Technique always gets uh, Nod from random. 
as I have uh, said many a time, gets like, very, very lucky with uh, random. But yeah, um, I have to expect anything. Technique is someone who will also go to since no matter what. What is he going to be here? It's going to be Zircom, which means fast tech firehawks. He's no doubt going to do that in this game because that's what Zircom are good at. Do have an idea up my sleeve, which does involve the buff seeker. Uh, this is what I was concerned about. Um, you can just spam Seekers versus GDI, and I reckon that will do really, really well. Even though uh, Seekers are still vulnerable to gun damage, I still think that 10% is a lot. I really think that uh, it can throw Valance out the window, um, having better Seekers versus GDI with shields and shards. We'll see in this game anyway. I'm curious. I made it work without uh, the Seeker armor buff. Uh, I mean gun armor. Not the other armors, it's literally the same in every other respect, just uh, bullets don't kill it as fast now. There is a minor difference between now and before. So, yeah, just going to see what he's doing right now, he's just echoing, which is to be expected obviously at this time. Uh, I can't go for a 4 half push in his expansion, uh, which is an option I can do. If you can go for 4 halves and punish your opponents, um, uh, refinery, third refinery, but I am not going to do that this time. Uh, I need to see if he's going for double war factory. Technique has a tendency of going for double war factory as well, so I'm going to do something really weird in this game, and I'm going to go for that uh, tier two just to spot to see what is up. So I feel like going for fast tech mechapede as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm not sure if you'll expect this. He probably won't. But uh, we shall see. I'm going to go for those Devourer tanks. And he's not going to expect this to the million years. He's going to eco up here. And he's probably just going to uh, go for a Pitbull. If, they, if he goes Pitbulls from two or factories, this build's going to really hard counter him. Because Mega Peter are extremely good versus that sort of thing. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I also placed my tier 2 in a very bad position. But uh, yeah, I'm going for those two Devourer tanks right now. There you go. He's going for... Uh, Pred APC, gonna try and put some uh, damage onto my uh, expansion, but I am uh, already anticipating this and I'm going for uh, that uh, tier 3 right now, so let's see uh, what happens in this game. Alright, so so I'm gonna move my expansion uh, back, see what is up in his base right now, see if he's going for when he's going for that uh, expansion. Alright, I'm just gonna move my uh, MCV back. And I'm going to just get one Mechapede around the side, just so I can uh, put some damage on it. And he's going to go back to base, uh, I think, in this game. And I'm just going to spam out Mechapedes. Uh, a few Mechapedes in this game will be pretty good. Alright. And I'm going to destroy that refinery with the Mechapede uh, with Toxin Segments. That's what I'm going to do in this game. So, uh, yeah, let's see uh, what happens here, and yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this goes. He's moving out now with his uh, army, but I have him pretty much covered here at the moment. I'm going to destroy one refinery here, which is pretty much uh, deep flame tank DPS this. Just need to destroy this refinery and I get it goes down. Okay, that's good. At least I got some damage done with that. And he's spamming out those uh, pit balls, which means uh, Mecha are going to be more suitable than tripods right now. So, yeah. I can try the same thing again and see what happens. Uh -huh. uh, also, this power plant could get upgraded as well. Let's uh, throw down the Icor seed here. going to do the same as before, just uh, random Mechapedes. I'm going Mechas because he's simply just making too much tier 1 right now. Alright, well, here he comes over here. Alright. 
Oh shit, that was a bad start to an engagement there. Let's get these me this mechapede around the side just so I can do some crazy things with uh, talking segments once again. Okay, uh, he's going to find my upgraded power plant there. Which is uh, a little unfortunate, but uh, what can you do? Doesn't destroy my tripod, which is unfortunate for him. Shit. Okay. Oh, my mechapedes, they're completely out of position. Okay, and got this toxin segment mechapede, which I will be able to do some damage with. I'm not sure what he's doing right now, but yep, those are going to get destroyed. Where's those refineries? He's got one there again. Okay, then. Well, I'm just going to destroy this once again. So that's going to go down. Oh, shit. That's bad. Can I destroy this refinery? No, I'm not. I can't, because he's just going to spam infantry now. Um... Such a weird game, though. Okay, and he's going for an expansion, and uh, he's going for Seeker Gunwalker now. Um, I need to consider Gunwalker spam, because he's going to be spamming infantry. There's the MCV, so we go quickly, see if I can take this out, maybe take out some of these uh, units for my trouble. Oh, fuck me. No money. Jesus Christ. Um... Okay, um... Where's those mechas? Did you take them out? Yeah, he did with some... Some units. But yeah, he just cleaned me up there. He's still got some... Random infantry scattered around the place. I still have eco. I could probably consider getting the tripod shields as well. Maybe go for uh, Devastator warships too. Get some repairs meanwhile, and uh, let's see if I can try and spot his army. I don't want to lose my base as necessarily. I need to just keep the map scouted. Construction complete. New construction um, yeah, I think dev warships is the way to go right now. On One more mechapee just to spot his base. Okay. And just going to keep all of this map scouted right now, just so I can see where his army is in advance. And, yep. Yeah. Send the mechapedes around the side once again. I'm getting some much needed repairs for my tripods and gunwalkers. And there is his army right there, as you can see, in all its glory. However,. Should be able to take him out with the Devastator warships, I do reckon. Okay, he's just okay then. He's moving out with the infantry. I do need to put these um, uh, Devastator warships on a separate control group that I can remember right now. This mechapede around the side. Okay, and. Wow, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe just. Mass warship and take up these uh, random units too. Okay, um, he must know that I have a mechapede head up there, maybe. I don't know if he does though. I was considering of base pushing him there, but you know what? I've changed my mind. Let's just take some of this titanium. And he's pushing back to base. I'm, I know that his infrastructure is almost... He's got no infrastructure there. He's, he suspects that I have some sort of a unit there right now. I don't know how, but... Uh-huh. 
Is he going to do a counterattack on me? No, he's not. I'm just going to get these Mechapeed around the side. He can't go for slingshots so easily. It's not going to work because I do have the uh, tripods to support them. Okay. So, yeah, just keep going for those uh, tripods and uh, Devastator warships. And what's he got going on now? He took out my Mechapeed, so he did see that in advance, or that's so in advance actually. He should probably go into an air transition soon, I'm not sure why he's not doing that. Uh, technique as follow up is uh, not as good as it can, could be. Okay. He needs to watch his infantry so he doesn't get uh, splashed down by those devastated warships, but yeah, I can see that he's got some stuff there. See who's got going here. Oh no, anti infantry there. I'll take those out. Okay. Oh my god. Yep. I think now is the time to go for. Yeah. Okay. Taking out his base here. Not sure he's not he's not focusing on this. He should have gone for infantry. Uh, maybe he was expecting me to spam out mass anti-infantry, uh, mass anti-air. Uh, so it didn't um, kind of work out for him in the end. He's going to try and uh, get this uh, attack force uh, destroyed. So I'm going to exploit that now and just go around here instead. I do have the stasis shield right now, which is kind of nice. However, I'm taking him really out of position at the moment, so I'm just going to force his army up here. He's He needs to deal with this army up here. He's going to move to my expansion now. Okay, then. Okay. Alright, and where's his refineries? He's got two refineries there. Okay. Take that out. Oh, Devastator Warship's getting destroyed. That's bad. And he gets both my warships, unfortunately. I need to go for more Mechapedes. Wow, took out all my harvesters. I didn't micro there. That was bad. I should have just committed and gone into his expansion. That was so silly. Like, he had nothing there. I think he, does, he still has nothing, so I'm just gonna go. I have to go all in now, basically. I don't think I can win without uh, doing this. For oh, fuck's sake. So yeah, he's going to go mass infantry now, no doubt. I need to uh, go through his expansion. It's like kind of like an all-in now. I have no other way of winning. Oh, how's it here? That's idle. Um, where's those warships? Let's get some of the disintegrators out there. Whoa, our position again, really? I'm not... He's going to suicide all of his uh, pitbulls in there if he wants to kill these units. It's not going to kind of work though because I'm splitting my fire amongst all these uh, warships. And I'm just going to throw down the reconstruction drones here. Got gunwalkers too, not sure why I'm not doing a better effort with those. He's just streamlining uh, forces into my army now. 
But he has nothing to really kill these warships. He didn't go for Firehawks. I don't think he ever teched up in this game. And those warships are going to rank up insanely fast if he continues to donate units as he's doing at the moment. Let's see what he's got going on here. Okay, let's just destroy these barrackses. He's got infantry. Okay, these warships are crucial for me. some infantry there too and oh maybe i i didn't see that actually oh no he's flanked me with infantry with some rockets i can kill those with the one click though the uh, buster swarm and that's kind of the flaw of technique strategy he had nothing to really kill these warships he should have just in fact both of them are ranked up at this point he had the eco he could have just teched up and went for those firehawks it would have been gg but he didn't uh, nice idea, nice uh, attack on my expansion, but uh, ultimately I was able to pour through with a win there. Not sure how worth it those toxin mechapedes were. I did get one refinery, but you know what, it's, it's worth it trying these unorthodox strategies. It's kind of a weird game though, I'm not uh, sure how to analyze that one, but yeah, I was substantially behind in that game. But Devastator Warships are so insanely cost effective. I could have microed better in that game, admittedly. What, not the best micro in the world, but uh, nonetheless... Um, it's not really a, an imbalanced matchup by any means of the imagination. You can, Zocom, to, in, to my knowledge, in my opinion, I do think uh, Zocom has the much uh, better uh, chance versus Skren. Just, just my opinion, anyways. All right, guys. Uh, Massively fair. Going to be uh, on the same map as before. Stay tuned because I'll be bringing more first-person VODs to you. Been having on and off days versus Bike Rush lately. Could have uh, easily recorded some uh, EPVs versus him. I was uh, doing really well, actually in my last few games versus him. I'm tempted to take this tower right now, uh, back to this game. Taking this tower, uh, Technique knows that I take it, have a tendency of taking it, but you know, I just feel like taking it. I feel like doing some really weird things. So we're going to do that right now. I mean, I could do some sort of rig strategy if he's a Skrin faction. I do feel if you're going for a rig strategy, you have to do it versus Skrin because they don't have a decent um, uh, main battle tank. If, if, that's of course if they just spam Seekers. They do have dev tanks, but most people just spam shard walkers or gun walkers. Um, he's a GDI in this game. Hopefully he isn't uh, sending four rifles straight through this part here. You can't really guess what your opponent's going to do. You simply cannot. Just going to clean this uh, rifle out here. And see what he's doing in this game. Speaking of rig strategies, I'm not sure if I can make it work versus a GDI faction. I just don't think it'll work. You can just endlessly go around his war factory. Unless I deploy the rig, like if I can somehow sneak it all the way around without him seeing it. I don't think that's going to work though. I really don't. Uh, it's, you're better off going for like pit bulls. Um, I just don't. I don't see it working because he's got a scout on my base. He's more likely going to have more than one scout in my base. Let's just dig a foxhole here just to keep his oh, well done leaf. Get crushed by that freaking MCV. Anyways, oh my god, he's got the pit, um, that there. Which could be indicative of his intention to go for double war factory, which is uh, what tech does. Let's get these rifles back here because I'm going to get uh, destroyed by a watchtower. And uh, yeah. It's important that I keep him scouted here. He's going to scout this if I have a watch t uh, the defensive tower. So I'm going to try and uh, pull him away from that structure. And I am GDI. What's he going for now? Okay. I need to see. Yeah, he's going for that uh, double war factory. However, I can stop it with the power of the Guardian Cannons, which are very good now. They're better than before. He's going pit bulls. He's, he's got two out in the field already, and I am stalling for cash right now, which is a terrible. And uh, he's going to try. What's he doing? He's just bang pit bulls out. Okay, then. Well, if he doesn't do inflict massive damage at the very instant, he is in a lot of trouble. So let's clear this out here. And where is he going towards? I'm not sure where he's going towards, but yeah. Um... 
I'm gonna just transition to into infantry if he continues this up. And these uh, in, uh, units will be excellent versus his hammerhead transition, which is gonna be inevitable. So I'm gonna transition now into uh, that. Okay. I don't think he can see this uh, armory. Do you have massive amounts of units here right now? I'm going to pull in the GDI airborne and put on a counter attack. Okay. Not sure where he's going with those units there, but he's probably looking to snipe my armory, which is uh, very likely to be destroyed. Oh, well, there's an MCV there. Let's get that back. And I'm struggling to get this upgrade for my freaking infantry because I'm stalling for cash. Oh, God, it's taking forever. Okay, um, I'm now going to go for the inf MCV because he's going to spam out a bunch of anti infantry. Oh, there's a few people here which are almost uh, dead, so I'm just going to take those out. And they're going to go down. And he's also going to uh, go straight into my defensive tower, which is uh, very nice indeed. And get the AP ammo as well. And we've got some infantry here just in case he's got another group of uh, pit bulls or something. Which is uh, possible. Okay. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, he's probably got pitbulls here. Uh, did I uh, do a miss rally with my har one of my harvesters? I don't think I did. But let's see what he's got here. Uh, he's gonna have. Um, it's gonna be expensive for him to clean this up. Take one more pitbull out for my trouble, and as well as another APC. And I'm gonna have Sonic Committers now as well. He's going to go for just APCs purely in this game, which could call for... Wow, he's going walkers as well. Okay, well that didn't work out so well for him. He's getting sniped on the deck right here. He did take out my defensive tower in the end, which is to be expected, honestly. Oops, um, again with the Miss Rally Harvesters. That's bad. That is a bad... And he's just spamming orcas right now. Okay, and I do have massive amounts of income, which I need to sink, like ASAP. So fortunately, I'm not not. I can't just one-click this here. It's going for my, ex my main base, it looks like. Gonna upgrade some of these structures. He's gonna abandon his base though at that expense, at the expense of that. Take out some of these here, these harvesters, I guess. And get a mob out as well. He's moving back to base because he just realized that he's under siege. And. Do you have some anti infantry there? I don't feel it's. Uh, I'm in an urgent rush to take him out. Okay, he's going to see this uh, Marv right now, and he's probably going to destroy this. He's like, oh shit, there's a Marv facility there. I wonder if he's got an expansion, though. I don't know about that. Take out these Orcas. Yeah. I don't want to commit so much to this attack. And he'll definitely want to retreat from that. Literally no question at all about that. I'm just going to get some uh, rockets out and harvesters. Is that infantry he's calling in there? So you got this expansion over here. Yeah, he's got a base there. Okay, infantry it is for technique in this game. 
which could call for a hammerhead transition. Put a little attack on his field here, his expansion. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Take those out. And we're going for those hammerheads right now for support. Yep. We're going to just uh, retreat back to these Sonic emitters. Get these hammerheads into position here. It looks like he's just one basing me. But he has nothing to kill the Marv. Alright, um... Just garrison up these. Put some double A down. Just go in and out with these, uh, this Marv right now. Just keep him occupied here. Just gonna suck some of this Tiberium up first before I get out. Okay, well, he's got no um, no anti-air uh, anti here, so I'm just going to take out some of these harvesters, which are almost dead. Took some uh, damage from those rocket squads earlier. So these go, will go down. And that's a uh, very good hammerhead transition there. He's going to probably move in now with his army. So let's go back and this tier 1 attack not working out so well for Technique here. I think he's lost all of his uh, grenade squads as well. So unfortunately for him, he's got nothing to really stop this Marv with, which has, does have two uh, NG garrison side of it. Pretty mediocre anti-infantry um, capabilities though. However, I'm going to take him out there and he doesn't like how you have to tech up in GDI mirrors he's more of a tier 1 spammer as you saw in that last game even he went for shat APC and infantry which didn't work out so well for him he's probably gonna switch to nod now uh, which is uh, to be expected obviously of technique but that game he went too much for uh, and um, APCs because he probably expected me to not transition away from infantry but I uh, swiftly transitioned to that multi MCV got the MCV in his base he went for orcas but um, I, fortunately I was able to get into his base snipe some of those uh, orcas on the deck uh, hence delaying his orca um, transition quite a bit so yeah that's uh, GG All right guys game number four or five I'm gonna be a black hand this time. It's not not um, technically gonna pick Nod, so I do have the benefit of the doubt of him not knowing that I am black hand in this game. So I can actually do uh, some sort of cheese on him, and you probably won't see it coming. Since I know for a fact that he's Nod, I'm not going to draft so many scouts because he knows. He will know then uh, that you can just go for a buggy and clean them all up and rank his buggy up. But it's not nearly as bad as what it was before with the buggy because before the buggy used to get uh, a rank for each Cabal it killed because it got Cabals are granted so much XP. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go for that buggy first, followed up with bikes. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm not even going to bother to respond to that. But... Multi games of is part of the game, and it does uh, counter a lot of the things. That, I mean, it, um, resolve some of the things that he says. Like, uh, yeah, do I go for bikes here? Yeah, I think I do. Maybe just one bike, or maybe more than one. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So you probably will expect me to go for some sort of rush in this game. Uh -huh. He doesn't know. He didn't know that I was an odd faction. He could have guessed that I maybe was one, but yeah, he kind of uh, made a lot of scouts here. He's probably gonna go. F got a load of bikes at home. I expect him to. Yeah, Technique's a very good player. Let's 
So, uh, yeah. Going to get some damage done on his uh, base right now. Unless he went for a blind rush of his own, which I highly doubt. So take those out. And those will go down. And if I can destroy one of these halves, this is definitely going to be worth it for me. And... You probably suspect that I'm recording. It's not really try hard, I'm just doing it like a basic brush here. Uh, <laughs> but you probably just suspect that I'm recording because I'm not talking much. Yeah. Got five houses here. He's probably going to go for double wall factory. Yeah, there you go. Double wall factory for technique. He's going to go with that. I didn't kill his harvester. Decided I wouldn't for some arbitrary reason. And there he goes with the all in. And is he just spamming out bikes? Yeah, it looks like he is. He's going to spam out them bike buggy right now. It's going to be uh, tricky to hold him back here. But I'm going to try and see if I can win versus him with this. Mm -hmm. so we've got mass uh, scorpion tank. No, he's actually got a couple scorps only. Not really much besides that. And I'm not sure what he's doing, but... Is he distracting me or something? But uh, yeah, he's going to find that I don't have any expansion right now. He's just going to go in there and see if he can do some sort of damage. I have the buggies here, so I can tank this damage. And simply more reinforcements as well. So, uh, yeah. I could go on the counter-attack, but since he's all in, I do have uh, the benefit of the doubt and that I have my MCV up. So I'm just going to capitalize on that and eco. He's going to try and see if I've got any harvest at that, uh, that Tiberium field up there. Okay, and... He's going to find that I don't have anything there. So I'm just going to keep the base scouted, and I doubt that he has an MCV back out, unless he rebuilt one. I'm going to send a buggy up there anyway, regardless, see what's up. And yeah, he's just in his base, chilling at the moment. And uh, the Wilhelm scream in this game, if you didn't know, does exist in this game. Uh, kind of a nice touch. Oh shit. Is there any, like, double-sided attacks here? No, there's not. Alright, well, here he comes. Get those back. And the harvesters will absorb the damage for me, at least, here. I forgot the Q unit, so yeah, almost punished. Almost punished there. And he's just staying put here at the moment. Well, those bikes are on low HP though, so I'm just going to take him out there. Um, he's clearly all in still. He's just got these uh, cute um, and multiple groups, it looks like, as well. Okay. Um,
destruction is so near this time. Got the rockets. You got the rockets. If it moves, kill it. Yeah, anyway, you can't just keep spamming these out now. You got the damage that you probably needed to do. So I'm just going to send these to his base, I guess. He hasn't been taking any blue Tiberium as well, yeah. He's probably asked, wondering to himself why he's won that engagement. Because I didn't put any micro effort involved uh, into it. Not too convinced of um, uh, hard countering him with what I have here. He's probably going for Scorpion tanks now. So, more bikes, it looks like, for myself. i going to take out my spike. Okay, then. Alright, let's see if he's got any houses there right now. I could also uh, do something about the, his base there as well. Um, okay, I'm spamming out those bikes. I have infantry scattered all over the place. But yeah, I think he's still all in. So I'm just going to sit here still. And the bike buggy over there. And I can see a house there, which I will be able to uh, take out. And he's most likely got something else up there as well. See if he's got any houses up here. He's probably retreating them or whatnot. But uh, yeah, nothing up here. Is he all in? That's what I want to confirm right now. Yeah, he is. He's still all in. Okay, spamming out those rockets. Technique, he's very resilient, I have to say. He's going to push out now with his uh, bike buggy. Does take out my Tybrim spikes, so that's unfortunate. Okay, um. He's just picking me off everywhere right now. Okay. Technique though, bloody hell, he's still in this game, it's surprising. He should have transitioned into Scorpion tanks long ago, not sure why he didn't do that. But, yeah, he's got his energy back out now. Okay. Yeah, I'm just donating units to him now. Let's uh, avoid that. Taking all this blue tie broom, which is kind of nice as well. Um, I could take the blue tie up there, but it's probably a bit risky. Bloody, bloody hell, though, I'm almost dry out of tie broom. Okay, I'm taking all that tib. Oh shit. Go for the expansion anyway right now. And do have multiple groups that he still has to be concerned about. And he's gonna put a little attack on my base, it looks like. Yeah. I should have just gone for bike buggy purely myself as well. I didn't. It's kind of a big mistake, but it is what it is. We need to transition to the Scorpion tanks now, I think. What's going on here? Nothing. Uh, 
Uh, buggies going in to respond. Oh, he's, he's already got a few buggies there, not too many. Okay. Where's those harvesters? Let's get some of these transferred to the other Tiberium field. He's onto that there as well. Oh, I don't think he's looking. No, he's not. He's going to get uh, completely out, taken out of position here. And I might be able to get myself uh, back into a similar advantage that I had before. There's a few gaps still in this base right here. He's chasing me. Okay, he's going back to base. Yeah, he's going to run straight into my uh, scorpion tanks. Oh, just buggies, really? Anyway. Just gonna hold him back here while also putting a little counterattack on his base. With <laughs> seventeen tanks still. Whoa! That was looks like I got some splash damage there on his house there. Yeah, it's now never really for him, but I just simply have the numbers. Um, so you can't really kill me. Let me take some of this blue type room here. He's, he's not all in. He's not selling his MCB yet, which is surprising, actually. Uh, I don't think I can really go for Dozer Blades. I don't think he'll let me get them, so I'm just going to accept that I'm going to be behind in advantages. got 32 tanks versus what he looks like to be. It's got a lot less than me, actually. Okay. I just have the numbers here, so I'm just going to take him out. Take him out. Yep. He's going to keep retreating here, but I just have the numbers uh, and the eco. Probably had like 20,000 more than him this game. Yeah. Uh, he brought it back, though. I think uh, me not queuing units at my expansion when I had to, to, to defend his attack off, was a big mistake. Should have easily um, been able to... I uh, win that game there and then, but unfortunately I kind of uh, got a bit complacent and allowed him to funnel units into my base, which was a big fail. But uh, yeah, that's GG. Uh, another 15 minute game there, but uh, yeah, I was quite ahead in that game. I also had the opportunity always to lose because technique is technique, but yeah, I brought it back in the end and uh, got my expansion up on the, on the uh, middle field. If I didn't take the blue tip, then yeah, I would have been punished severely for that uh, for mistake. All right, folks, we're on to another game. This time it's going to be a, well, the, the most classic matchup there is. It's going to be GDI versus Nod on the map tournament, uh, Dust Bowl, no poker. Haven't really had a chance to see how good Seekers are versus, um... you know what? I should have gone for Seekers in that game uh, when uh, he went for Shardwalkers just to see how much better they were versus the Shardwalkers. But the Corruptors are the way to go if you want to kill Shardwalkers or Gunwalkers. Just build Corruptors. That is the way you win. But uh, I'm versus Nod here, which means that I do have the superior scout. So I'm going to just garrison up some of these structures. Won't need to pit, uh, fit pit first versus him, especially since he knows he doesn't know my faction. He's probably going to go for a buggy first for that reason. I'm going to take this off. All right, get in there. Okay, take this uh, here, this structure. I want to make sure it doesn't bug because sometimes that 
uh, unit uh, engineers next to that spike have a tendency of bugging. Okay. So you're just going to pick away at that squad there, or that structure. Um, probably could send two rifles in and, uh, at the same time, just in case he has a turret queued, uh, which is possible. Okay. So... Yeah, I need to make sure I don't get crushed either by his harvesters. He might try something, some stunt like that. He is technique. You can't underestimate these players, by the way. You have to um, think in their shoes all the time. What would you do in their shoes? Okay, so he's not going for any sort of reckoner here, which he could have done. So rush distance is rather small. Uh, though I did get a nice scout on his base. Uh, looks like he's not going for any sort of rush. Just a classic eco build for technique. Curious to see if he went for a two power plant expansion or just one. Looks like he just went for that one. Um, he'll be scouting, no doubt, to see if I'm going for a two or factory uh, pitbull spam. Which I am not going to in this game. I'm just going to eco up. And I'm just going to reverse move this MCV once again. Just in case he uh, thinks that I'm... Okay, if I don't do that, he's going to sit there and park his buggy in front of it and spam the S key. And it won't be able to move. So yeah, that's not good. Lost that. Um. Yeah, I don't. I think some pibbles would be good. Um, just to scout. Uh, most of all, to. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to go for preds or pits? But I think preds is the idea here. We go pred infantry and then we go air. That's what we're gonna do in this game. We're gonna go for that kind of strategy. I I've heard. Um, Reports of it being very good in the past, like State of the Union used to do that build in the past. He's going for a bike buggy on two or factories, which means that I have to hurry the hell up so I don't get screwed by that. And uh, yeah, here comes the the bike buggies. I will want to prepare in advance for this. Okay. Why is he not moving in? What the hell? Okay, dude. That is fine by me. You had your chance there. But you didn't want to take it. That's going to cost you. So, since that did literally nothing, I'm just going to move out with a counterattack. And I want to keep these flanks scouted as well, just so I don't get screwed by that. He's going to take out my Tyrium Spike here. He's just doing whatever right now. Uh, I could also garrison up these buildings here with the infantry, which is a kind of a massive uh, deal in this game. Ugh, I don't like that refinery placement. I don't like it, but I have to spread my refineries out. He's moving his bike buggy back to base. So let's take that out. And there we go. Infantry upgrade. In upgraded. Spamming. Um, not sure why he's doing that for. Like, literally. Not going to work so well for him. He's going tech now. He's got his tier 3 up. I doubt that's going to work out, though, for him in this game. Okay, then. And he takes me out there. Okay then. He's probably got a one click queued as well. So I'm going to just take out as many of these bikes as possible before I get destroyed here. And I'm going to go for a MARV as well. As well as some real guns as well. We're going to do just that in this game. It's going to have tip core in a moment, which is uh, terrible. If you want to know how I feel about that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Oh god, he's got a black hand squad there. I can't just go in with impunity and expect something to happen. I mean, with the, I can't just garrison up these buildings now. Even though garrisoning them up was a good idea. He's got tip core now. Okay then. 
Well, here goes nothing. I want to consolidate my army now because he's going to uh, destroy me otherwise if I don't. Okay, Marv out. Let's go try and get uh, an attack done here. Okay, uh, where's his bike buggy? You want to get away from that, obviously. Okay, gets punished quite a bit for it. We do, I am, I am going to have railguns soon in the moment, so that's kind of nice. But, I mean, I'm going to have uh, the upgrades I need in the moment, which is railguns, and that's really, really good with the army I have. I just, I can't see a bloody thing right now. That's the problem. What's he got here? No expansion? No expansion. Okay, looks like he's just going for a pure bike buggy then. But it's not going to work versus real guns. Well, it shouldn't. And I'm uh, going to be depleted out of Tiberium soon, which is uh, really bad, actually. I just don't know where he is. I think he's just chilling at base. He's got bike, buggy. Okay, he's over there. Okay, um... Okay, he's coming over there. Hmm. Oh, I don't know about this. I think Space Command Uplink is the way to go right now, because he's got a Redeemer, he's got some bike buggies there, so just to probably... I don't know, he's, he's holding me around the place, which is what I'm doing with him as well. Um, he's trying to split me up as well so he can get this amount of uh, ice surrounded. I'm not going to allow that to happen though. Oh my god, can you please move? I want to harvest this Tiberium. Thank you very much. Sell this off. Uh -huh, he's not got no intent to... Okay then. Ass infantry it is, which I did not expect whatsoever. I can't I can't order them up. And apparently he's just gonna win. I didn't expect him to transition so quickly from um, the bike buggy into this. I literally killed just one avatar with that. That's all I kill. Kill. Nope, not going to kill that. And... Yeah, I mean, the idea was good, but I was just poorly executed. I wasted all my Predator tanks. I, I've done the attacks too preemptively. And that's going to be GG. So I think maybe just going pit balls is a better way because he can... I, I didn't have any eyes in his base, so I couldn't see if he was going to switch from mass bike buggy into redeemer avatar i didn't expect that i should have um, had a scout in his base to confirm my suspicions i could have got some got juggernauts out and uh, better handled that army composition of his but yeah economy wise we were more or less even i wasn't able to penetrate his base despite him going just mass purely bike buggy didn't get into his base with the infantry and preds maybe it's just best just going purely predator tanks and apcs um, more probably more likely to be successful with that